Hey guys, Penna Daily here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Ha! Die. Today we are going to be taking on the Ice Palace. And ignore that picket. Yeah, as you can see, that warp tile is the only way to get in here. Get your thing ready, your uh, fire rod. Think, the magic flames will protect you inside this icy dungeon. Yeah. yeah, that's really the only way to kill those guys. I mean, I think you can kill them with a sword, but it takes a long time. The other thing you're going to use in this dungeon a lot is the hookshot. Because it's so much easier than trying to hit shit with a sword on these ice tiles. Yeah, these blue tiles, they have ice physics. Figures. So, this dungeon is a bit of a maze. And... If you do the 6th dungeon first... Oops. Really, dude? If you do the 6th dungeon first, you can actually bypass a large portion of it. But A, the 6th dungeon, everything in there hits really hard. Because they expect you to have the upgrade from here. Ow. And... Um, B, you know, I just sort of want to show this place off and do it the normal way. And if I had the other item, I'd be very tempted just to skip. So we get the compass. Yay! Ugh. Yeah, in some ways the hookshot is also just important for getting out of here, because that ice physics is really awful. But we come through here more of these guys. They're called penguin ga pen gators, and I kind of think they're adorable in a weird way. Did you know penguins actually do have teeth? They're not in the beak like these guys, but uh, they are actually down their throats. They have throat teeth that basically let them... They have throat teeth that let them hold fish and swallow them more easily. It's actually kind of, if you've ever looked down the gullet of a penguin, it is really creepy. You don't want to go to the right there because there's absolutely nothing and that anti-fairy will respawn. The pengators don't, but the anti-fairy does. So, we kill these guys mostly because, I'm killing them mostly because they're annoying and I don't want to deal with them. But also because it's just, they, they really are kind of a pain. So, we come over here. Ow! Really? He hadn't started that when I, <laughs> when I started swinging my sword. Anyway, but, so we need to get in there. But the only way to get through, we gotta do a delayed thing. A delayed fuse. So that's... You use the bomb to set off the crystal switch. You're gonna need that later in the game. So we drop down here. And... Hmm... You cannot destroy the skeleton knight with the sword alone. When he collapses, he is vulnerable to another weapon. And it's just as easy to hit him... You, you can hit him with a sword for that first time. Or you can hit him with your boomerang. Either way works. Boomerang just, you don't have to close. Uh, you know, to an, to an unsafe distance. Of course, you know, if you're full up on hearts like me, you can use sword beams anyway. You may, in this place, want to use the, um... Ow, crap. The magic cape. Because the... Ah, Ignore that switch, if I remember correctly. Yep. You might want to use the magic cape to avoid the spikes. Or just, you know, move your butt. You'll want to come down here. Really. You probably want the hook shot, is the other thing. Come down here. Watch out for that. Watch the fire bar. And pull yourself over. And hey, we get a heart. That's pretty nice. Oops. And we go through here. And of course, there's a bunch of these guys. They, they're pretty much everywhere. And the 
pick that up. You can step on that tile to go back, but you don't really need to. And penguin gators. All the penguin gators. It's easiest to go after these guys just by standing up here and just shooting them with the hook shot the whole time. And that opens the door. All right, watch out for that. Now we go left and you can go down those stairs, but there's really no reason to yet. So instead, we're gonna go up. Now, the best, the, yeah, the best way to do, if you want to get everything, you just do this. You're going to have to fall anyway. So if you don't make it all the way around, it doesn't matter that much. Now, there is some stuff at the very bottom of here, but you don't want to deal with it yet. Do not all use, if you do not possess the medicine of magic, don't worry about it. You will get that. That happens a lot. You will get so much magic power in this dungeon. But, so, we're going to go this way. Come a little closer and we can do that. And kill all these guys, mostly for fun, but also because they tend to be... Very, they, they get in your way very easily if you don't. So we come through here. Do we even have the map? No. No, we don't get the map for a little while. Okay, anyway. Watch that guy, and then you can pretty much... Ow. Yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of an issue. If you're fast enough, you can dodge them, but I tend not to. So, kill these guys. There is nothing through that wall, if I remember correctly. That's... Well, actually, let's check. I don't remember. Yeah, that's right. It, that's a fake wall. Or a fake crack. That'll happen sometimes. You can check those, honestly, with the... The, the sword tapping technique. Let's kill you. Now, I'm going to go to the magic power powder, because I... Oh, no, actually, I'm not. Uh, be, you, if, if you lift this thing, that, you find both a key and one of those whirly gigs. Just lead the whirly gig into the wall. They're not particularly... You can also do that to kill them. Hit them with a... Yeah, hit him with and there. Yeah, a lot of times when they die you will get a you will get bombs. And so we get another key. Oh no, we get the map, excuse me. So here is the entire uh, dungeon. So if we pull on the tongue just like it was one of those T switches in the walls, you can go back up. We don't want to do that just yet. Or actually we do. I'm sorry. But then you can come back out through there. But we come up through here. Now, if you wanted... And we get the big key. Which is nice. If you wanted, you could come out through there. But there really isn't anything up here that you need to go for. So, go back down the stairs. Pull the tongue. Go back down these stairs. And back down here. Because you remember, there was, I deliberately didn't pick up this skull when I normally do? Yeah. This is also how you get back over that pit of spikes. So, we've got an extra key. And, let's see here. We can go down these stairs. We don't have to do the drop again. Which is nice. Come on, down the stairs. Ah, stupid. Yeah, that's the only problem with these, uh, <laughs> with this stupid, uh, ice, these ice tiles. Now, switch to the first, yeah, because there's actually two of those guys in here. And now that we have the big key, now you're gonna want to, uh, set a bomb here. And then open the chest. Because, of course, the chest. 
that way, and you come down here. And we get the dungeon item, the blue mail. It basically does the same thing as the blue ring in the original game. It, you know, cuts, cuts your damage by half. And this jerk. Now, this room is basically the center of our, uh, of our thing. We're going to have to go through here, and eventually we're going to have to go through here and go down. But there's a, actually, no, we have a key, so that's fine. Oh, right. Right. Well, what we do, what we would normally do is unlock that door, go down, and discover another locked door we can't actually access. So I'm not going to bother with that. All right. But we come in here, and we can. Let's see. I'm going to go back to the magic powder. Just you know. Ow. You can kill those things. Ah, jerk. And then they won't come out of the holes anymore. And that can be really, really nice. Really? Dude. I, I'm going to kill this thing. There we go. So, as I said. Yeah, you can kill these guys one at a time. And now we can go back. Let's see. I just figure I'll look for, you know, some other stuff. We could also go down, but we don't want to do that yet because we've got other things we need to do. So, let's just kill these guys. And there, we don't have to deal with it anymore. Alright, so, come. And, like I said, don't worry, you will be getting magic back. This dungeon, because of the way it's set up, you know, you, you, they won't let it be unwinnable. Even if they tell you you need the medicine of magic, they won't they won't let you be without it. Without magic, even if you don't have medicine. Ah, let's see. Ha! Kill these guys, and yep, look who's here. So we hit him and we set a bomb. And we get a set a bomb and get a bomb. And head down here. And of course, there's this jerk. Let's see. And we go through here. Let's see. We'll need the there to kill that guy. And then back to... <laughs> yeah. And we can kill these guys. And hopefully get some magic. And we kill this jerk. And there's a switch. Now, if you have, you know, excuse me, if you have, um, you know, been through the, the the sixth palace, the item you get there lets you make a block. So you could just put a block there and skip all of what we're about to do. But, you know, I sort of want to show it off. All right. So we put the blue blocks down. Now that will do some interesting things. For one thing, it opens up the pits in that room up there, and you can drop down those sides, and of course we'll you will find yourself in a fairy fountain, just like in the Tower of Hera and the, uh, dark er, the Eastern Palace. Now we can push one of those blocks down, but it won't do any good. It won't actually land on the switch. So we come here. You notice there's only one of those jerks left this time. So we just come through here. Now we get to go all the way back up just so that we can come down on the other side. Yeah. You see why a lot of people do go for level 6 and its dungeon item first. But, you know, it's not that bad. It's just annoying. Let's see here. And another key. Because you're always going to need keys the way this is going. And, okay, so... We have one of these things. You can just come around here and lead it right into the wall run around here to just get these guys to come up because while they're not at 
all dangerous if they catch you by surprise, like while you're fighting this guy. You know, they can get a few hits in and that's no fun. So I like to be sure that they're not going to pop up on me unexpectedly. So we come through here, and this is actually the room where that tile is. The tile that we saw up that told us, you know, don't go here. You know, be careful if you don't have the medicine of magic. Ha! Yeah, those guys always annoy me. I mean, they are I find them adorable. I'm glad they brought them back for Link Between Worlds. But they can be really uh, dangerous, too. So, watch that. And now here, see, this is the room with where you would bomb through. That's why, you know, you don't bother going down there as things stand first. But now that we're here, we can kill this guy again and push this block and follow it down so we don't have to deal with anything else. And now, okay, better better kill this jerk first. And then go to the fire rod just so I can kill this guy. And then I can take on these weirdos without any worry. And there we go. So you pull that off and you push the block. Because you can only push blocks one space. So if it falls more than one space away from where you want to put it, it's no good. That's why the block on the other side isn't usable. And we kill him and we get some more magic. That's nice. Yeah, that, that will happen, unfortunately. But we're going to do this and come over here and see what we get. Come over here and let's see. Oh good, we get some more magic, so we're basically full up. Yeah, like I said, they want to make sure you have it. So even if they tell you to have the medicine, they, they won't rely on you having it. Now, I am going to put on the Bombos medallion because we're about to fight the boss. Cold stare. Yeah. What you're supposed to do is run around hitting him with the flame rod to melt him out of his thing while dodging the balls of ice that fall from the ceiling. But it takes a lot less magic just to use Bombos. And it works just as well. Now he's he is in this form just as vulnerable to the fire rod, so and he's easier to hit than a land mola. Watch those pieces of ice, they spread into four bits. Just keep killing him. Keep, see? And unlike the others, he doesn't get particularly uh, more dangerous once there's only one left. So yeah. That's Cold Stare. Much less of a pain than his uh, counterpart in uh, Link Between Worlds. That one is just, ooh, ice physics. At least this room doesn't have ice tiles on the floor, otherwise that would have just been awful. I love Link Between Worlds, but some of its decisions make me wonder. Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. They say the Hylia people controlled mysterious powers, as did the Seven Wise Men. But the blood of the Hylia has become thin over time. We who carry the blood of the Seven Wise Men do not possess strong power anymore either. Our powers will increase if we mix the courage of the knights with the wisdom of the wise men. Only a short time remains until the gate of the castle, linking the worlds, opens. Completely. If you defeat Ganon, this world will vanish, and the Triforce will wait for a new holder. I believe in you. Good luck. Yep. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. So, now we have a spiffy new blue shirt, and we're going to get out of here before that picket eats our shield. And here we are full up on life. Got a lot of money. We really don't need any of that. And just 
Let's see. Die. Okay, so now, really, our next thing to do is the... Uh, yeah, our next thing to do is the sixth dungeon. Hold on one second. I want to check something. But I think we're going to call it here for now. So, thank you guys for being here. I hope to see you next time, and you guys have a great day. See ya.